watch it now. Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Thunder 2004. In this episode, we're going to be doing race 2 of 36, the Subway 400 at The Rock, Rockingham, North Carolina Speedway. And, well, it's not called that, but I'm just going to put the words in there and stuff. I'm going to be racing the 2002 Looney Tunes Chevrolet, because I just felt that would look good racing this track or something. And, um... Rockingham is my second favorite track in the game because it's just really fun for me to race at and it's really challenging, especially for figuring out, uh, figuring out car setups, whether it's career mode, season mode, or race now mode, you know? Because, you know, you have different kinds of cars. Tony Stewart's car is like the master car of the game because he's on cover. And then you get every other car, they don't even drive as well. You could tell that from the Daytona 500 turned out completely different from the Daytona 500 with Tony Stewart. Hopefully we can change things a bit in this race and not have to deal with the fact that I forgot to do donuts whenever I win it. Well, I hope I win it. It would suck if I didn't, but, you know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll blow my engine and we'll be screwed over. So, um, first things first, we're going to go to qualifying and figure out the car setup, and then we're going to change it if we think it needs to be changed. If I think it needs to be changed because I'm the one who feels the car, kind of. And uh, we'll make this uh, as challenging and str strategic as possible. Okay. So yeah, K Korean, K Korean, I don't even know. It's not spelled the same way, and I don't even know what it is. Why would I? I NASCAR was not my time whenever he drove this car. I didn't really get extremely into NASCAR until like 2006 or something. Okay, what do we get? The pole? The pole? At this track? What now? <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I know I've done it before, but, but still. Getting the pole. I know if I started anywhere else, I would have been stuck in traffic for just the entire race. Even now, if I'm on the pole, things could go wrong. Awesome, we're, on the pole. Yeah, we're starting on the pole. That's the first time this season, so we're already guaranteed the shootout next season, I guess. Well, I won the Daytona 500, so I think that guarantees me the shootout, too. Okay. The card setup was obviously really good if I got the pole. I was comfortable with it. Hopefully, we don't have any issues whenever we go to the race. So... Here we go, the Subway 400 at Rockingham, North Carolina. North Carolina Speedway. We're in Rockingham, North Carolina, home of the North Carolina Speedway for today's race, the Subway 400. What makes the just rock so that. tough, Barney? Well, this track is deceiving to drivers who are new here. It's wide and fast in most places, but in the corners, they'll have to slow up more than they expect. Otherwise, the wall will sneak up and bite them on the exit, especially in turn two. I thought he was going to say bite them on the exit. was supposedly an off-season for Jeff Gordon, with three wins and a fourth-place points finish. You know, that just goes to show you what's expected out of this team with three wins and 19 top tens. There are a lot of teams that would not mind having Gordon's off year. Jerry Nadeau is one of those guys who you just keep expecting to break out and have a good year. Yeah, you do, but he's got a ton of talent and some good equipment. He's shown he can win and run up front. Now he's just got to string some success together and gain some confidence out there. Brett Bodine is a rarity on the NASCAR circuit these days as the last of the owner drivers. That really is a lot for one man in these days of multi-car teams which can share information. He's starting on pole, Tony Stewart second, we got Ricky Rudd, Michael Waltrip, Bill Elliott, Kenny Wallace, Jimmy Johnson, Kirk Busch, Johnny Benson, and then Jerry Nadeau. 
The green flag is out, and we are underway for the Subway 400 at Rockingham. Tony, whoa. Gosh. Lost that first place spot um, as soon as we made our way through turns one and two. Then I've had people all over my butt the entire time. It's making it hard to focus on Tony. Uh, Ricky Rudd, same place. Two laps in a row. Get around right here. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, car. Stay on the track. Contain yourself. You Korean? The Korean? I don't know. Ugh! Gosh! I can't get the car, not, car down at the bottom. On the corner, maybe just stay up top for a little while longer, I guess. Uh, there's a smoke from the stupid crap that happened last time. Uh, how's the car feel? Feels somewhat tight going to the corners. Now I have to, you know, really push it to race. Qualifying is one thing, but racing, you know, you've got to push it to be better than everybody else. And, gosh, you can see me struggling at the top of the track. Dylan Hart Jr. overheated his engine. That's not very satisfying, because I don't hate him, I just don't like him. Whenever it comes to video games. And I can't... Holy crap! Gosh! Johnny Benson came out of freaking nowhere. <laughs> I was not expecting that one bit. You know, Jimmy Johnson, he's got this entire, uh... Uh, fuel tire challenge thing in the challenge mode so him being up front makes sense in this game and there's Del Art Jr.'s smoke in pit road gosh he came out of nowhere Johnny Benson that was <sighs> scared the crap out of me I'll see you see this bullet go flying through the bottom of the screen I don't know what it's, what's going on Okay, we're going to pass him on the inside as we go into turn, you know or not. I, I uh, braked too much. And I'm clipping the bottom. It's actually the best turn I'm taking so far, really. Uh, just trying to hold my line. I mean, it's getting tight throughout the corners. It really is. But I can't complain because I'm up front right now. I just got to go. Do the best I can to stay up top. And I did... Stop touching the bottom, JC1424, you dumbass. Gosh. <laughs> that's not safe. That is... That's dumbass. So, don't be dumbass. Be smartass. <laughs> um... JC1424, the non-intelligent NASCAR driver. Behind the disguise of the, the Korean car. The Korean car, I don't know. I mean, Korean... Korea is a, is a place. It's a, it is a country, so, you know, well, there's South Korea, North Korea, but still. <clears throat> and this is a completely different Korea, or Korea, I don't even know. I don't even know what it is, because I'm not from that time. Right front. That, that does not make the car any easier to drive, because I'm already getting tight in the corners. So, dang it. I mean, we're, we're going to be 10 laps in as we cross the line. Cross, we're going to cross the line this time. We're in the south, so I should say that. Uh, words in my stupid mouth can't say them. But as, yeah, we just finished 10 laps. My glasses are starting to slip off my face. It does that every now and then. I'm sweating because I'm under pressure. I can feel the pressure. Pushing down on me, pushing down on me, and making this video awkward. <laughs> I'm so freaking weird. I'm so freaking weird. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm going off the track. Well, not yet. I was heading down the track. Dead, dead apron. JC1424. Dumbass. Don't do that. Be a smartass. Come on, you can do it. The really good NASCAR drivers are the ones that everybody hates. The smartasses. Like Joey Logano and Matt Kenseth and 
I mean, everybody likes Selenar Jr. He hasn't even won a championship yet. And he only wins every now and then. But, you know, the, uh, the father conspiracy and uh, his personality thing. But I like how Joey Logano drives like Dale Earnhardt. I don't like how everybody hates him. I mean, his personality is, you know, very different, but his driving style is just got this thing in common. Nothing else is like you don't know what you're talking about. He's nothing like Dale Earnhardt, dumbass. But I'm not a dumbass. I'm a smartass. <laughs> That's why I'm in the lead right now. Way to go. Uh, 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 what the? Uh. I'm trying to save it. Stop the car. I was gonna. Never mind. And you had to back into the wall, of course. Oh, that's gonna happen a lot this season, by the way. It really will. Twenty-first. Holy shenanigans! Like those shenanigans? I mean, it's a Looney Tunes car. I'm gonna drive like a Looney. Uh, I'm missing my Jurassic Park car now. I mean, we were getting quite far in the race, so I think everybody else would be pitting. I'm going to be pitting, too. Okay, so nobody's pitting, just me. Whatever. As if that makes any sense. 16 laps into the race. I'm probably going to have to take another pit stop because I'm taking this one now. You never know. I don't know how far this car can go on all this stuff. The car was doing fine. Somehow the back of my car doesn't look bashed up after the AI backing you to the wall. I wasn't going to do that, but the AI did. <sighs> Everybody's seen me do this before, though. I'm trying to take the turn right, and then I move somewhere on the track wrong, and then it just... It's been corrupt. Uh, car still looks nice. I just, I just promise you it will not whenever the race is over. Because I am in last place looks now. Like we were the only car on pit road during that entire caution. I know that. Dumbass. <laughs> okay, so we're behind Jack uh, Spygoo. Spragu all over the place. That's who we're behind right now. Driving the number zip car. And they're going to break extremely early and heavy into the corner, of course. I saw sparks flying. Hey. Hey, Jack. Jack. Jackass. Get out of the way. You're, making, you're driving. You're making me drive into you. <laughs> Okay, now they're taking their pit stop. Now they're taking their pit stop. This freaking AI and the freaking pit stops, and oh my gosh. I took mine on lap 16, they're taking theirs on lap 19, whatever. This is so bogus. Okay, Cheerios is probably gonna take a pit stop this lap. And I. No, he's not. Well, get out of the way! Get out of the way, Cheerios Mobile! Got all this momentum, and I'm trying to get down to the bottom of the track, and then you're just holding me up. How can, how can you go that slow whenever I'm trying to go fast and hold me up like that? You see, you are not tight if that's the situation. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna try to pass going into the corners because I know cars are taking piss off right now. It's not the smartest idea. You get turned and spun out if I try to go down right there. Seventh place, sixth place. Uh, Keep on it. You're clear. The car is easy to drive until the, the tires start to get worn and all that, you know. Oh, am I going to be able to hold my line with Chase Montgomery right there? Okay, we're good. It's just if he's at the bottom, he might try to go off the track and pass me like the AI does sometimes at this track for no reason. Okay, passing Jamie McMurray. He has tire marks on the side of his car. I don't know what that's for. Probably somebody else. I don't recall touching him in this race. As a matter of fact, I don't recall touching anybody in this race. Not really. The beginning was quite exciting. And now things are pretty cool with me having to pass cars and stuff. I mean, I don't have to because I took my pit stop early because of their freaking AI thing. But I'm probably going to have to take another pit stop because I took mine just a slight few laps before the half. A slight few laps. A few laps before the halfway point. The halfway point would be halfway through lap 20. I think I'm correct. Because it's a 39 lap race. If you finish lap 20, then it's halfway point for 40 laps. So, I, you know, I don't know. 
You know, I don't know. And I'm the one confronting the subject. <laughs> what? Well, I'm in the lead. I'm leading laps again. At least I've led the most laps this race. I can confirm that right now. You know whoever it was that had the lead a while ago. Probably led quite a few laps. And had the lead again. For a while. Oh, I just don't know if I'm going to make it to the end of the race. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like Darlington did last season. Whenever I spun out with two laps to go because I knew I wasn't going to make it on the field whenever I could have just stayed out and rolled around the track. Uh, what the... Stupid dumbass car, what the hell's wrong with you? That, that was all the car right there, just randomly getting tight in the corner. I was... I was literally trying to get out from behind Kevin Grubb. I was... I was just stuck. I was like, I don't even know. I don't know how to explain it. I felt as if my slipstream was holding me right behind him. I know that slipstreams are like a giraffe. Um, slipstreams are kind of like this rope tied to the back of a car effect. But that was not a rope. That was like a freaking pipe. Freaking metal pipe. I don't, I don't know. I don't approve of pipes. If anything, I approve of the rope more most of the time. I like the rope more than the pipe. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, I know something to talk about that uh, we all know what I'm talking about. This next time around, we will have 10 laps to go. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about because I said this instead of what I was actually trying to say at first. Not this time, it's next time. Whenever we come to the line, this time we'll have 10 laps to go. Well, I'm halfway on fuel right now, and I took that pit stop 10 laps ago. Wait, no, over 10 laps ago. And what is like deja vu? I'm gonna do the exact same thing before the race ends. Like the exact same point in my worn tires or whatever. Drift and spin out. In the lead. Uh, no. I mean, having a, uh, a really big lead right now because uh, they took pit stops and everything. But still, it'd be a caution. I'm just gonna try to hold on to the car to the end of the race and win this. Everybody's a lap down. If I do run out of fuel, which I think I might, it's it's possible. It's somewhat likely. But if I do run out of fuel, I'm gonna hit the wall. <laughs> I don't know why that just happened. If I do run out of fuel, I'm probably gonna just stay out. I'm not just sure just yet. I'm just gonna stay out and roll around the track, and hopefully I can win with no gas. And once again, not celebrate my victory because I won't have fuel. <laughs> Gosh. Come on, car, turn. I don't need your worn tire crap, just turn. Because I want you to. Somebody's stomping in the house, I don't... I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways... That's not a word. Anyways is not a word. But I'm from the south, so... Anyways! I'm in first place. I might not make it on fuel. Actually, to be honest, I think it's more likely I'm not going to make it on fuel. I'm going to have to roll around without any gas in my car. But, you know, like the Johnny Benson challenge. It's just, uh... Let's just do that, you know? These cars aren't going anywhere. If these cars aren't going anywhere, I don't think anybody else is going anywhere. Hey, hey now. What the? What was that? What in the world was that? The car just... Is that what happens whenever you let off the gas? Or alright. Oh, I have worn tires. So... Whenever we go green, well, I mean, I know they're, they're all going to be still a lot down or whatever, but, I mean, I hope all the, all the people that uh, were behind me are still a lot down, because me having worn tires is definitely going to make this hard to finish off. But with there being a caution, I won't be using up as much fuel for some reason. Not going to take a pit stop. Not going to take a pit stop. Jimmy Johnson moved up a spot, so that means he's uh, second in points. Starting in single file, the green flag is out once again. 
with two laps to go. And oh my gosh, they're all on the lead lap. How the hell am I going to do this? Come on, car, turn, 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 turn. It's a dirty mile down there. Dang it. And I don't have the lead anymore. Oh gosh, the car is so freaking loose. Orange tires. Ugh. Don't tell me what to do. I'm trying to do stuff right. You're messing me up. Wait. Wait. Get him. Get him. I'm going to stick it under him this time. Just keep it at the bottom, okay? Just keep it at the bottom. Keep it at the bottom. We can do this. We can if you're here. We. We. D -d -d <laughs> we can't if you're here, Sterling. We can't. We. Uh, okay. We're good. We're going to win the Subway 400. After I make a bunch of weird ass sound effects. Well, there weren't sound effects, there were sounds. I'm going to celebrate and run out of gas now. Because it just said I will. Let's do some donuts before I run out of gas, you know? At least I didn't forget. This was a weird ass race with me spinning out and all kinds of stupid crap. I held the car together better than I did at Daytona, but I drove it worse. Whatever. <laughs> that was an exciting race. You can't say you knew it was going to happen that, because it is hard to drive this car with those worn tires. I was hoping they wouldn't be on the lead freaking lap. But they were on the lead freaking lap. So he had Sterling Marlin. I didn't want him to get underneath me or over me on the outside as we exited the corner because that would make things really difficult. Uh, doing donuts in the infield because we won. So right now we've got two in a row. And I don't know if you guys can hear that. You probably can, but my mom is yelling at my little brother. Because he's my little brother. That's what you expect. And yeah, my little brother has been in a few videos because... He's that kind of little brother, you know? The one that gets in your videos when you don't want him to. Oh, we changed sub uh, subject so quickly. What was the subject again? I don't know what the subject was. Oh, I remember. I won the race! Yay! Let's see if I can get into pit road with this car. No. <laughs> yeah. That. I don't know if I got that into the face cam right, but... Vroom! <laughs> Go, car! Yeah, don't need This is the speed of a Korean. Korean. Or whatever it is, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get into my pit stall. Hopefully the car can last that long right now. You can skip ahead or whatever, or you can just sit here and wait. I'm just gonna have ourselves a talk show while I see if the car can make it. <laughs> um, it was a really good race. I mean, I really screwed around with the race and all kinds of stuff, but all in all, it was a great race. Ugh. I mean, please comment and say if whenever the, the uh, green flag came back out and you saw that they were on the lead lap, whether you thought I was going to be able to do it or not. I knew I was going to be able to do it whenever I saw Sterling Marlin uh, behind me in the rearview mirror doing things right. Hey, look, we made it. We made it. We did. I'll wait. Go, go, car, go. Wait. Wait. Um, I shift the car. Did, did I really just shift the car into forward drive and the car started going backwards? Cars don't do that. As a matter of fact, you don't need gas for a car to go. It kind of just rolls, you know? But whatever. We Close usually race. have more cautions than that, don't we? <laughs> well, I'd say the fans would probably have liked to see more excitement. I'm sure the drivers, on the other hand, were happy about the low number of caution flags. Jeff Gordon never even got a scratch in this race. You know, these NASCAR Winston Cup race teams absolutely love drivers who take care of their cars. Makes their jobs a whole lot easier when they aren't having to spend extra hours in the body shop each week. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, yeah, even though I drove so terrible, I hardly made any contact with other drivers and the wall. So, we're not going to have to be um, going to the garage or whatever after the race for very long. I, mean, I still got a few dents and scratches. So yeah, victory lane, twice in a row. Don't know how. Uh, 
to all these these uh, skinny little white boys jumping around in the pajamas. And one Latino. I'm not sure if he races now, I'm just, you know, saying it as it is. We got one guy who looks like him. Uh. I'm gonna have to boost the audio for that part of the video just so it doesn't sound so bad with my voice overdoing the guitar. <laughs> if I turn the volume up of the game, it won't sound so dirty. It, it won't. Uh, DuPont Automotive finishes. It, it finished this time. I don't even know if the song has copyright or anything because it's so old. That's uh, what Five Finger Death Punch used to be. Jimmy Johnson's not really my friend anymore. Well, I mean, yes, he is. He's just... I lost some of the alliance with him. I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, Christian Fittipaldi. I remember he wouldn't get the hell out of my way earlier, I think. I think that was what would happen. Oh, gosh, all those other guys in the top ten is like, Oh, man, I wish I could have gotten the lead left. I could have attacked Jared Gordon. Jared Gordon. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Jared Gordon. Yeah, that's my first name. Okay. So, um, Sterling Marlin led one lap. That was that lap on the restart. Oh, man, I was freaking scared crazy whenever we came to the restart and I saw the drivers were on the lead lap because, you know, they got fresher tires than I do. Uh, very, very fresher tires. So it's kind of like the Jimmy, the, no, the, the Johnny Benson, the Jimmy Benson race, whatever. Uh, Tony Stewart, he led some laps and, um, yeah, that was because he started right next to me. What else do we have? Oh, Jimmy Johnson, he finished in the top ten, so that's pretty nice. Didn't the, uh, the chart thing uh, under one of the cautions say that he was second in points? I don't know if he's still there um, after finishing in ninth place. I'm unsure where he was whenever it said that he was in second place on the points table or whatever during that caution. Uh, Johnny Benson, he led eight laps. But I definitely led, led the most laps in this race. I led 24 laps. I ran a very good race, but I drove like shit, so, you know. In the end, I drove very well. I did. Here are the rest of the finishing positions. I'm just going to scroll down real quick. You can. I'm not going to be saying all the names and stuff. I don't want to waste people's time. You like, like, you're not wasting my time. You're doing stuff the right way. Yeah, Donner Jr. freaking overheat his engine in, like, three laps. And then now see him sitting in pit road smoking everything. All the Dale Earnhardt Jr. fans hate and dislike this episode because Dale Earnhardt Jr. just major screw up right there. <laughs> you know. Okay, now that the, we've done the second race in the season, I feel the need to, uh, and I'm pretty sure you guys want me to as well, but we're going to go to the points table and scroll down that as well. And the next race is Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I remember that one clearly last season with Tony Stewart. Uh, it did not go as like it was supposed to. I mean, Jimmy Johnson won, but that's not how it was supposed to happen. So right now, we have two wins in a row. Next race is UAW Diamond Chrysler 400. Take a look at the points table. Uh, Jimmy Johnson is still in, is in second place still. Not still in second place because he had moved up. I remember that. But uh, yeah, teammate Jimmy Johnson in second place. That things that's how things are supposed to go. Wish I could get Joe Nemechek up here, but gosh, what are you crazy? No, I can't. Uh, we got Bill Elliott, uh, Ricky Rudd, Mark Martin, Rusty Wallace, Sterling Marlin, Tony Stewart in eighth, uh, Jeff Burton, and then Michael Waltrip. Now let's see the rest of them. And Bobby Labonte right there, my old teammate from last season. Kurt Busch. I don't know why I said that, I didn't need to. Uh, Casey Mears, having a pretty good rookie season. What about Jamie McMurray? I didn't, I don't remember. No, there, there was no Jamie McMurray. Casey Mears is doing better than Jay McMurray. That's unique. Usually, uh, Jay McMurray just kicks everybody's ass in the rookie season thing. Uh, where is Jay McMurray? Delanor Jr., he just lost so much freaking momentum and whatever because of that North Carolina race. Uh, where is Jay McMurray? What happened to him? He's a Joe Nemechek. So, if Jay McMurray's doing worse than Joe Nemechek. Yeah, 32nd. 32nd. Casey Mears having a better season. So, yeah, that's something. Um, and then all these other guys. We have 44 places now. now. I do believe this song has no copyright terms because it's uh, 
Depp Squad. I'm pretty sure they don't have any copyright terms because they're like a retired band or whatever. Well, they're not retired. I remember they released an uh, extended play album a long time ago, but this album is like way, way long time ago. They don't really have a contract anymore. And uh, this is just for you guys who want to see this stuff. I mean, let, let's go look at the rewards now and make the video even longer. And you can leave right now if you want to. But if you're waiting for me to do the outro because you just want to be badass or you literally want to watch an entire video, then uh, I don't know. Uh, front runner and pull award. Bobby Labonte picked up places most. Ward Burton at the fastest pace. He's usually one of the not good drivers. And of course, Casey Mears is the rookie of the race. That makes sense. And Rusty Wallace made the move of the race. Hey, hey, what about me? I mean, most exciting pass. My pass back on Sterling Rome at the end of the race. I mean, I thought it would be me because I, I won the race, but whatever. Rust, Rusty Wallace, J Jeff Gordon's rival in this season. My, my mom is yelling at my little brother again. Anyways, with that song playing, I'm pretty sure it has copyright terms. So, see you next time. That's that, and episode over.